Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time to me, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a while since I've done a section about hair and the reason why I'm doing this video is because of clients lately and it's been a trend of them seeing whenever you go to a salon, your hair is so pretty but then that's the only time you'll ever see it like that. And you know what? It's not true. It just takes a little bit of practice, it takes a little bit of effort and you have to have the right tools. I will show you a few things that I do have at home that I have that helps me get the salon kind of style and you know what, it can be inexpensive as well. Some people think it's expensive but definitely you can buy drugstore um, tools, you can buy drugstore products, there's no rules to it. I'm totally okay with it. I buy drugstore sometimes, so it's all good. So um, yeah, so let's get started. So first things first, it is very, 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 very important. You wanna make sure that you're using a heat protectant. So this is the one that I use, and see, I'm a hairstylist, but I even use drugstore. This one's called L'Oreal Color Radiance Dual Protection Spray. I got this on sale for like $4 at Walmart. Super inexpensive, um, and it, that's the trick. The easy hairstyles I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to show you this um, tool. These are Velcro, Velcro Rollers. And with these ones, I would say they're more ideal for medium, short to medium hair. So short as in like nothing like pixie cut or anything like that, that'd be too hard. But just like short to medium kind of length. Um, usually if you have longer hair, Sometimes it can tangle in the hair, so just keep that in mind. But I do have some medium layers. So I'm just going to show you an example of how I would do it. So if you want a little bit of height, and I would do this when the, when the hair is kind of damp. I'm going to put that down for you. Spray with heat protectant. Roll this in, so make sure it's at the very tip of the hair. Rolling it in, and it should stay. So just like that. Put this wherever you want a little bit of height. You can blow dry it, blow dry it, or also you can um, just leave it while you're doing your makeup, when you're painting your nails. Just put the Velcro rollers in, and when you take it out, you don't want to just like pull it out because it tucks at the hair. So just simply kind of unravel it, and then it will stay. And that's just an example. Another favorite tool of mine is my hot rollers. So. I've been asking a lot of people um, if they have hot rollers at home because it's, it is a lot easier. So with these ones, I already heat it up, make it hot pretty quick, and as soon as it touches the hair, you can even do this with the hair dry, but again, put your heat protectant first. I like to actually, if my hair, say my hair is parted right here, I'm just going to go about two inches, like one to two inches away from where my hair is parted and start there. And I'm just going to roll it in away from the part. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do my hair every single day. If I have a little bit more time, I would usually use my hot rollers all over. So I'm just going to show you the whole thing. So there's a timer on my um, my camera and it's at 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Wait till it's cooled down or you can add your hairspray, a dry sun finish or like a finishing spray and then you're going to take it out. So I'm going to time it for about 5 minutes, not even. 
6.43. I feel like they've cooled down quite a bit and the time is... The time is now 6.45. See, I cannot take that. That is nail stuff, guys. Now I'm going to take these babies out. You can take a little bit of your serum or whatever you use, shine spray. Kind of work that into your hair. And ta-da! That was like under 10 minutes, guys. Look at that, and I have this beautiful, beautiful curl. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start on the side that has less hair. You are gonna start rolling it around like this until you're like ended up with all this hair. You're just gonna keep rolling it and 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 rolling it. And rolling it. This is how fine my hair is. So obviously for someone who has thicker hair, probably need one or two. But look, super easy hairstyle. And you can kind of like tug at the hair if you want like bits like kind of dropped up down on your face. But holy, how long did that take? What? Look, I didn't even go to the salon, I just did it myself. Alright, so after I am done braiding all my hair, so I'm using this strainer by Chi. It warms up super quick. Just go all the way down. I'm just gonna do it twice. So just slowly go through that braid. Even once is enough. Part right here, you can actually just kind of have it up. You can pin it up like that, and then you have all these like nice waves right here. Um, I love this product, it's by Bumble and Bumble and I like to use it just to kind of add texture to my hair so after you braid your hair and then the straightening process you can actually put this in give it a couple of sprays again, this is another like two minute add-on to your routine and you can just scrunch it and then you have a style and it's not like a like I tried so hard kind of style this is like a nice casual kind of style so thank you guys again for tuning in and if it's your first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button do it right now hit subscribe so easy here I'll help you we'll do it together one two subscribe oh yeah and don't forget to like hit the like button hit it right now like see you guys next time thank you again